I find this new feature out of particular interest to me. Like I said in my first uh, run-through of the first trailer for Judas and the Black Messiah, this new HBO Max movie coming out, because again, we're in 2021 and we got nothing new to watch, <laughs> except for the stuff on HBO Max, apparently. Um, as I said, it's a, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the film, it's a historical uh, adaptation of apparently an, uh, a, a true events type story. Or it says in the trailer it's inspired by true events, but it's a biographical uh, historical film. So I don't know the events in particular to which the story is referencing. I am very much a history person, and that's part of the reason I love documentaries so much. But I just love learning about people. I love learning about history, even things that I'm not familiar with. And this is certainly one of those cases. So a featurette, which usually tells you a lot, but maybe, maybe it's more something suited for the movie uh, it, itself. So I would imagine it taps into the story for those of us who are you know relatively unfamiliar as I am. But I would love an opportunity to learn more, and that's what featurettes do. So let's take a look at this new You Will Know His Name featurette for Judas and the Black Messiah. As always, we're going to watch this first, and we're going to talk about it more by condensed views that I was watching the video together. Okay, here we... Oh, this movie looks good, by the way. I love the cast, too. That cast run through? It's beautiful. Okay, here we go. A lot of good names. I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance. To my black people. I pledge to develop my mind and body to the greatest extent possible. I will learn all that I can. This is so beautifully filmed, by the way. Which I would anticipate, but from uh, because of Ryan Coogler. Greg Hampton and the Black Panthers, known for primarily their. First feature, I think I've shown the channel with the zoom format. <laughs> No disrespect to the project, but I'm like, this is definitely filmed in 2020. Basically, we go into these all white and Hispanic areas, feeding kids, educating kids, just while the community banded around. And created the Rainbow Coalition. Imagine what we could accomplish again. We can heal this whole city. Our counterintelligence program must prevent the rise of a black messiah. Neutralize him, Agent. Five years for impersonating a federal officer, or you can go home. The goal is to get close to Hampton. And it was hard to play William O'Neill because I care so much about Fred and his legacy. He was someone who was an incredible speaker, incredible thinker, teacher, and marked the death by the government when he was, when he was 21 years old. You ain't tell me it was going to be like this. I will make sure you're properly compensated. The work that Chairman Fred Empty was doing 50 plus years ago inspired legions of activists today. Chairman Fred and the Black Panther Party represented fighting for self-determination on their own terms and not in a reactionary way. I think it's important to know that the FBI and the Chicago police blatantly assassinated somebody. But why? Because he was able to unify people. A lot of adults don't even know who Fred Hampton is and that's a tragedy. For me, my interest in him started with his words and ideas. You can murder revolutionary, but you can't murder revolution. And you can murder a freedom fighter, but you can't murder freedom. This is an opportunity to awaken people the way Chairman Fred Hampton was awakening his people. When I dedicated my life to the people, I dedicated my life. Like I said in the first trailer, or when I looked at the first trailer, tickets on sale now. Well, if you're going to the theaters, which, you know, I, I said this before, HBO, okay, I'll get back to what I was saying in a minute, but with HBO Max, you know, I said, I'm very much somebody who's, um, I want to go back to the movie theater. I miss it. I really do. Um, but I, I just haven't been lately. But So I've been really thinking, you know, I want to be able to support the movies on uh, two levels. So as much as I, you know, want to be able to help um, pitch in with streaming, right? I love that format. Uh, it's very accessible, much more so than you know going to the movie theater, especially you know just the current situation and all that. I very much do want to also support the movie theater. You know, I just want that cinematic experience again. I really do miss it. So for those of you you know who are going to be able to go to the movie theater, it's available. Well, actually, as I'm making this video, it's now in theaters. So I'm I'm behind. I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying desperately. <laughs> I'm getting there, um, but it was it's out uh, or about nine days ago is when it released. And if you're on HBO Max, it's no extra cost to you. See Disney, <laughs> we have to pay thirty bucks for more new movies. It drives me crazy. But like I said, or like I was saying, I should say, um, Daniel Kaluuya. 
I love this guy. He made such a good impression in Get Out. Um, the performance here, he's a really strong actor. I'm very impressed every time I see him on screen. And the story certainly sounds, you know, um, again, the details to it are not very well educated on. I'd like to learn more. So maybe one day I will. Maybe again, this this film will teach me and I'll be able to understand the message of, you know, what whatever voices out there are saying. But I love the type of uh, journey. This is why, as I said, I love documentaries so much. I love hearing the voice of the perspective from people that I'm not familiar with and their stories. And I believe hearing people's stories, especially, you know, as we um, grow in time and we grow, you know, as a population and we come to think about the world in different ways, I think it's important to understand the perspectives from other people that, you know, uh, came before us or people that are in a society that we might not necessarily recognize. I think it's of extreme value because we can oftentimes see something in other people that we might not be able to see in ourselves. There's, there's like an, a, an expression, and I forget how it's said, but basically like people see, you know, the or people see, I forget, ah, I wish I remember the exact wording, but like people essentially look at you and they can see things that you clearly won't because, you know, basically you're kind of... Um, you're you. You're used to you. You won't often see yourself sometimes from outside eyes. You're just not acclimated that way because you're so acclimated to seeing yourself in a certain fashion. Whereas other people might look at you and see different uh, aspects of your life or different characteristics that you wouldn't notice. So I think the idea, you know, with this project of being able to hear some stories that we as a society, as people, well, again, as I said, I'm not familiar with it. I would love to learn more because I think, you know, it can be of extreme importance to hear uh, other perspectives from people that we might not know. We might you know, not know their story. We might not know their name. Um, I'm sure after the, uh, this movie, I will know. Um, uh, I think Mr. Hampton's name. <laughs> there we go. I, I kind of do. I just looked at the cast list. I looked at the trailer. So, you know, I already do know it. But again, I think there are, this is why I like historical films so much or adaptations of history that you're able to better understand, you know, these stories could potentially be of huge consequence, you know, maybe not just to ourselves as, um, as people, you know, individually, but maybe even as a society as a whole. That's why I think the stories, you know, are such value and really a huge attraction to people like me who do look for that extra experience. And I will say about this movie, Again, I just want a new movie at this point, and I'm getting it <laughs> with the added layer, you know, of learning something. Um, but it's this is so beautifully done. I mean, it, it really sounds like the, the actors have just poured their heart and soul into this. You're hearing just so many impassioned speeches over a Zoom call. <laughs> you can again obviously tell this is 2020, right? <laughs> you don't often see interviews like, well, some of them seem like they're done um, professionally. Like, you got people like uh, Fred Hampton. Oh, Fred Hampton Jr. Okay. People that are like, intrinsically involved here. Um, Deborah Johnson. Well, no, Deborah, sorry. Um, Deborah Fish. Er, De Dominique Fish, er, Fishback. Sorry. Um, but it looks like they're actually performed in some sort of like studio outlet. Not um, at, not at home. <laughs> but then once you can clearly tell, like, I'm in my living space. <laughs> so we will always remember where this feature came from. We won't have to be like on the YouTube date. When was that released? What year? I forget. No, nope, this was clearly 2020, 2021. Just, <laughs> just the way it works. Now, as I was saying again, I'm very much in the mood for a new movie. The presentation of this is beautiful. And it really is. It seems like a strong story being told here with a very strong cast. I'm very impressed. So, Judas and the Black Messiah. I believe there's a new trailer actually out that we're going to be taking a look at as well. But I really do appreciate feature ads like this. Especially, you know, for historical films. Or historical adaptation films. You're able to uh, better learn more things. Not just about the movie making process necessarily. But maybe about the story. Which, you know, especially in this case uh that was very befitting of the latter so what do you guys think about judas and the black messiah you will know his name featurette i do kind of now feel free to let me know your thoughts are down below don't forget to look at stuff like that bell and until we get to look at uh, the uh second trailer that came out for it or until we get to watch the first or the new trailer together for you know whenever i will see you guys at that point but for now thanks for watching this video i love you guys remember yourselves your fellow man god bless and peace